four-wheel drive this afternoon after this morning's uh, exertions getting up so early to get out onto the Lake Delta to photograph the pelicans and I'm just driving along the embankment near to Kirkimi village um, just to see what I might spot if anything uh, in the heat of the day it's uh, it's not easy to spot that much. It's, it seems that most um, most birds are fairly quiet. Um, but I just spotted a woodchat shrike. Um, I didn't manage to get a decent shot because he was where he was perched. It was right behind all the twigs and everything, so those were all in the way, not making a very clean shot. But it's um, it's a beautiful little bird, and it's lovely to see them. I'm just going to move forward because he flew back to another. One of these um, shrubs behind me. It seems to be his little territory, so um, I hang around. He should. Oh, there he is. Way away there. He's going. Okay, no, I can't. He's on the, on the bush, behind another bush. So there's no clear, clean shot of him. Anyway, I'm going to hang around here for a little bit to see if I can get any better photos and uh, video of him because he's a beautiful little bird. I'd love for you to see him, so I'll check back with you in a bit, hopefully with some decent uh, images of the woodchat shrike. Okay, see you in a bit. So that was fantastic. The um, little woodchat shrike, he sat on top of this, uh, on, a, on a bear shrub on the topmost branch, just gave me a clean shot, it's fairly distant, but still a nice shot I think. And I think I got a little bit of video of him as well. So I'll be showing you that as well in the site. But absolutely stunning little bird. So we'll, um, I'll keep going around on the embankment here uh, and see if I might spot anything else. I'm really hoping I might see some golden oriole because there's so many fig trees and they love fig figs. In fact, in Greek they call them fig eaters, uh, golden orioles. So I would love to see one of them and maybe photograph it as well, video it for you. They're absolutely beautiful birds as well. So I'll keep going and um, see what else I turn up. Catch up with you in a bit. So it seems that today is my day for shrike. I just um, saw and photographed a redback shrike. And I just placed at the top of this uh, crystal spinning uh, tree here. Didn't manage to get any video of it, but I got a couple of shots of and that was uh, fantastic because it's another beautiful, beautiful uh, little bird. So I might hang here for a little bit because there's a fig tree opposite and there might be a chance of Golden Oriole if they visit. Uh, so we'll, and he might come back as well, the shrike, the red back shrike might come back. So I'll um, hang here for a bit and see if I get lucky. The red back shrike didn't come back yet, but um, just in front of me on another tree, uh, we're perched right at the top, male and female, um, would chat shrike so I've got a couple of shots of them uh, again no video uh, it's uh, sometimes it's too, it's too difficult just to switch over to video so uh, but I hope you like the photos anyway so it's nice to see male and female together like that so that was cool I, I don't think anything is coming here so I'm gonna move down the track a little bit and um, see if I might spot anything else So I'm going to do uh, one more uh, patrol along here, along the embankment and uh, see if I can find anything with the last light of the day and I'll be sure to uh, show you if I do but uh, in the meantime, um, thanks again for watching and uh, hopefully I'll be bringing you more videos from Greece on this trip I have a few more days to myself uh, not at Kirgini but I'm headed somewhere else, hopefully that'll prove to be something special. So yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.